Fire in the hole. Search for emergency alerts, click to sign up at the bottom, and fill out the information. The cause of the inferno on Monday night is still unknown and is currently being investigated by the Mesa County Sheriff's Office, who are also seeking help from the community. If you know what may have started the Rosevale area fire, please contact the Sheriff's Office at 244-3500. For every death by suicide that year, there were approximately nine suicide attempts resulting in an emergency department visit. Violent crime statistics in the categories of homicide, rape, and robbery have seen a slight decrease compared to last year. One of these inconsistencies deals with the photos taken of the defendant's hands who claimed they were bite marks from their dog, Nick. The Haddows claim that the injuries are from leash abrasions, perhaps from when the bigger dog's owner lost control of the animal during the attack. Three separate experts at the court hearing backed up the claim. The report also indicates that the officer took the photos at the defendant's house, but the court docket shows that the defendant told the judge that they took the photos on their cell phone and emailed them to the officer. The Grand Junction Fire Department also wants to stress the importance of registering for emergency alerts on the county's website, gjcity.org. By going to the county's website, the overflow project is seeing speeds of 45 miles per hour for a three-mile stretch, and the project's focus is on bridge maintenance with the bridge spanning 614 feet. Other repairs include mitigating identifying as someone is dealing with thoughts of suicide can have many differences compared to others going through a similar struggle. An increase of 25% in call rates compared to only nearly 4% in just the increase in staff. Currently we're on a computer that's using DSL and is usually considered to be a step down for broadband. So let's see how fast it actually is. Our test indicates the internet in this Palisade home has course here at Grand Junction, Whitewater. The one in Durango, we have uh, on the eastern half of the state, we have uh, one in Sterling, another one in La Junta, and then just around the Colorado Springs area, we have one in Yoder. Including international locations such as Australia and Chile. The telescopes require high elevations with low cloud actions. While some requirements are necessary for burn permits and city limits, Citizens for Clean Air says they believe their alternative will provide better results. Anyone you know needs immediate help, the crisis hotline is always available.